Hey there, I'm Andrei and in this Photoshop video I want to show you how to create um, color grading HDR-ish tone uh, effect or whatever you want to call it. Um, I want to show you my technique of creating this kind of, of effect in Photoshop and just to note what we are talking about I will show you the original image. Okay, so this is the original image and I want to, to sh I want to show you how to get this uh, this kind of effect. I didn't use any external plugin or anything like that. Um, I'm using Photoshop CS6, but you can do it in previous version of Photoshop because uh, we didn't use any any weird uh, plugin. And uh, maybe you can even do it in Photoshop Elements, uh, I think. So uh, you can try it if you want. So, well, let's get started. So in order to get this uh, effect, we will use a lot of adjustment layers, as you can see on my palette right here. And uh, it's simply a combination of uh, blend modes and uh, um, adjustment layers. And I want you to keep in mind that uh, this effect not, might not work um, the same for all images. So you might, ha you might have to make uh, variations uh, to this uh, adjustments that you have here. But, uh, uh, you will learn how this works, and I probably uh, you get some ideas of how you can uh, how you can use these adjustments on your own images. So uh, let's get started. I will also show you another um, uh, this technique on another image, which is this one, and uh, I used uh, different adjustments here, but uh, you can see it's pretty much the same technique, the same steps. Um, it's almost identical. So the first thing I want to do is close this. So we'll open it later. And the tutorial will be centered on this uh, image and I will show you how I made the other one, but uh, not uh, in as much detail as uh, on this uh, image, okay? So what I will do is deactivate all layers. And once you have all of this uh, set up, once you apply this filter or adjustment, it's just a matter of adding uh, adjustment layers. And the first adjustment layer that I that I usually add is the selective color um, because uh, from here I can edit each color independently. And if I set it to positive, it becomes magenta, of course. And on the cyan, the opposite of the cyan is red. So if I put negative on cyan, I get red. See, it becomes even more red. So let's leave it there. I used curves, and with the curves you can add, uh, you can work with the channel, so if you're on RGB you will only adjust the contrast, okay? So you know how to use uh, the curves. But if you, if you go into each channel, you can adjust, for example, on the blues, we have the shadows here and the highlights right here. So if I want to add more blue on the shadows, what I can do is click on this point and drag it up. And let's move on and add even more uh, effects, even more adjustments. The next adjustment that I used for this particular image was the black and white. I didn't want to use this uh, black and white to turn the image into black and white. That was use was useless for me. What I wanted is to have this uh, capability of changing the brightness of each color and combine that with a blend mode. Okay, so that's how I got this. Let me show you the original. So from that to this. And after that I, st I started to add adjustments. This levels adjustment has no effect. I think I didn't edit it. No. Let's delete it. Then um, the first adjustment that I, w I, I really used was the color balance. The color balance is also really, really good to create this kind of uh, color grading effects. On the previous image I didn't, I didn't use it, but you can use it. Um, because you can control shadows, midtones, and highlights and really um, give the tone that you want to your image. Okay, so I used this one, then I used curves, and I used the same technique. I went on the blues, and you can see I, I left the midtones where they were, in. I added just a bit of yellow because... 